Well, amigos, how are you? I am finally creating a video which is an update from how I visualize. I published the first one around one year ago, and I was explaining how I use visualization, especially the Jose Silva method, and they have a lot of comments and messages, uh, beautiful messages from you. I really appreciate those. And I want to give like an update of where am I today, how I am visualizing today, what has changed. And I also want to share some disclaimers because I feel like there is not enough communication on visualization, but also the other side that it is taking action, that it is being patient. And these things that are not so sexy because we like magic formulas and shortcuts. And I've, I've experienced something different. I want to share my perspective on this one. So I got started in 2021. That was the first time I started visualizing and learning the Jose Silva method. And many of you are familiar with that. If you're not, I will share a video, um, explain more in detail. And first of all, well, it helps you to get into a more relaxed state of um, your mind and your body. You do a body scan, you tap into deeper levels of relaxation. And from there, you just start to visualize. You start to imagine this big screen as if you would be in the cinema and to play this movie, this mind movie, or this trailer of the life that you want to create, you want to materialize. And all the process has been so beautiful for me, uh, but I've been using mostly the visualization part, and I will share with you how I do it. But before tapping into that, I want to mention that today's, um, my today life looks very similar than what I was visualizing in 2021. And I'm so grateful for that. Like, if I think about it, if I look back, whatever I wanted to bring into this world and into my life, which was related to business, related to having a community of other entrepreneurs, travels, relations, deepening my, in general, all my relations, um, health, all that that I was visualizing, um, I'm, I'm experiencing today and I'm, I'm involving it today and I'm super grateful for that. Again, I don't want to oversimplify it. It's been three years. So imagine it's been three years since I started rehearsing this mind movie and involving this new person, right? Like this identity upgrade I like to call. First thing I want to mention is that as of today, I'm not taking the whole training. I'm not meditating like for 40 minutes with the body scan and all that, I rather tap into uh, my mind movie, which is this visualization, this big screen that you visualize, and then you see this trailer of your movie playing on repeat. I can tap into that way faster and easier, uh, which is five to 10 minutes. And it, I try to do it daily. So that's the first thing, like I tap directly into the, the screen. Then the second one is that I, I've managed to find which time of the day works the best for me. It's a time of the day that you might feel relaxed, that you might feel like you don't have to rush. And it's very personal. Normally they tell you like early in the morning or in the night before going to bed. Uh, it, I think it's very personal. So in my case, it doesn't work in the mornings because for me, mornings are for doing things, getting things done. So when I wake up, for example, this morning, I am using this morning to record. So I'm getting things done, I'm, I'm checking my email. So like I have all this energy to create. But for me in the afternoons is when I start to relax, to chill, when I am done with work, when, when I'm done with meetings or recordings. And is when I can tap into this vision, which is in my case is around 7 p.m. more or less. And um, or before going to bed. These two moments is when I find found out that I am the most relaxed. So you want to find your own timing, um, ideally before going to bed or first thing in the morning. So those are the most ideal, but in general, it's the best if it's when you feel relaxed. So when you, when you feel like you're in a state of calm or bliss or joy. And I also read some of your comments in other videos and some of you say that you struggle to find that time. So maybe if I, I suggest two things, one is to keep it shorter. Maybe you want to visualize and meditate for five, 10 minutes 
so you don't get very impatient. And the other is also to do it once you are done with your tasks. So once you're done with work, once you're done maybe with your workout or with that meeting or whatever you need to do that day, and you're like, okay, it's my time to sit down and to calm at least for five minutes, that is a moment. So that's another recommendation I have. And the other thing that how I meditate is um, when I find a song that is so exciting and inspiring to me, like I can just feel it. It can be an instrumental song or the lyrics are so inspiring. I save it to a Spotify playlist. I can share it if you want. And then I have my playlist for visualization. So I play it and then I close my eyes. And it's when I start to play my mind movie. And that's really beautiful, but it's very, very strong because your emotion, your excitement is um, kind of motivated or driven by the song. And then if you combine it with visuals, it becomes really powerful. So you can find your own music, but if you want mine, I can also share it with you. And also, and the last one is to have somewhere, uh, some visuals. So some visuals of what you want to create. For example, I have some visuals uh, next to my workplace. Now I'm not at home, and, um, but uh, if I'm in my own flat, then I have my vision board. And I also have it on my laptop and I also have it on wallpapers. So I have it in different places. Sometimes it can be words, sometimes it can be visuals. It's called mental imagery. And uh, that's going to strengthen your vision. And so that's very, very important. And I love visualization. It really helps me to believe more in myself, to be calm. Because I'm like, okay, it's going to happen. But I don't know, maybe in one month, maybe in three months, but it's going to happen. I, I, you build this kind of inner belief and the certainty that the things are coming to you. And before jumping to the disclaimers or these little letters that not everyone tells you, I want to invite you into this new modality that I created. It's coaching, but also with meditations. It's a session with me and I would facilitate the whole session. I want to get to know you more in depth, which are your desires or needs, your vision. And then based on that coaching session, I would create a meditation customized by your, with your own words, by your own needs, by your own desires. Okay. So if that's interesting for you, I will leave a link in the description box and then you can explore it if you want to join me in this beautiful session. And as for the disclaimers, I have two really important that I've faced. One is that you need to take action. Like you can visualize a lot every day for one hour, but if you don't take online action to that vision, it might not coming to this life, right? So imagine this visualizing as some like something floating there, like a particle, like an idea, like a dream. And it requires certain action to put it into this 3D world, especially if it's something you want to materialize, you want to manifest. It requires effort, requires focus, attention, presence to actually bring it into this um, world. So and um, it's very important that you have your vision and that you are really strategic. Like what should I do today or this week or this month to get one step ahead um, and closer to your vision? Um, so for example, if you want to manifest a trip to Asia, maybe the aligned action is like maybe this week I will start checking the flight tickets or the accommodations, or maybe I will start getting familiar with the city I want to visit, maybe I will watch some YouTube blogs. So these are little steps. It's visualizing, um, acting, and getting closer to that vision, but also having the patience uh, and the certainty that it's going to come, but I don't know if it's going to come next week or maybe next month. So let's work on that and on grounding on the daily actions. So not just conditioning our happiness or our well-being, Oh, only when I get that job or only when I get that partner, I will be happier. No, let's do it today. Build it day by day, week by week. And then whenever the person or the outcome you want is going to come into your picture, uh, onto your life, then it's going to be very beautiful, but it's not like you will be happy all your way. So those would be like my advices. I hope that you got started visualizing. I really love this technique. It's called the mental screen technique by Jose Silva. 
But I also learned it with Joe Dispenza, and that's a mind movie. They have another video about the mind movie if you want to take it. Both are beautiful. They are really similar, actually. And I use them um, almost on a daily basis. And it's beautiful, but again, it's a combination of visualizing a picture, but grounding on your presence too, when you're present, and just being really confident that the things are coming to you. You are creating them. You're bringing them into this 3D world, and then for sure they will come. It's just that you need some focus and intention. So thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any other question about visualizing, Jose Silva method, um, my movie method, but I will link all the other relevant videos in the description box. Thank you for watching. Six things, what?